Hi, I'm Dr. Alan McGinty, and I'm a range specialist with the Texas Cooperative Extension Service. And we're here on the shores of Lake Ivy today to talk about salt cedar. Now, salt cedar is one of the most invasive, destructive plants we have in this state. And this plant really has a very interesting history. It was actually introduced into the United States in the 1800s, very early 1800s, around 1820. Nurserymen brought it in as an ornamental because it is very attractive certain times of the year. And even farmers used it for erosion control in the early 1900s. But the problem is that since then it's spread. It's spread into every major river and stream in the southwest. All of West Texas has this plant and it's moving east. Now the reason that we're so concerned about this plant is several. One is that it's a lavish water user. They may even have a special word for that called a phreatophyte. And to put it in perspective for you, if this was a large tree, and it does make a tree, it could use up to 200 gallons of water per day. Dense stands of salt cedar can use anywhere from 3, 4, 10 to 12 acre feet of water per year, again, depending on the size. And it doesn't stop there. This plant is also aleopathic, and that means it kills other plants. And how it does that is, is it takes water up into the plant. It also brings salts up. And it takes these salts, and there's actually salt glands on these leaves. And they secrete the salt out in these glands. And then when it rains, it washes the salt off. And essentially kind of kills other plants that try to grow up around it. Also, you have leaf uh, shed during the year. These leaves are salty. Put them in your mouth, they taste salty. Again, put salt onto the soil surface. It kills other plants, it reduces competition. And then when it rains, that salt goes down into our lakes, increasing salinity. This plant is very, very uh, prolific in terms of its ability to spread. Uh, a mature plant can produce half a million seed per year. And that's why we see it moving all up and down our rivers and our, and our streams and into our lakes. A salt cedar is really a very difficult plant to control. And one of the reasons is that it's both a crown and a root sprouter. And what that means is that if we come in here and shred it, uh, hoe it out, uh, use a herbicide that just kills the top, it re-sprouts profusely from all these roots and also from the crown. So we really can't control this plant with mechanical methods. We have to use herbicides. And it's resistant to most of the traditional herbicides that we use. We do have some that work, and that's the ones we're going to be talking about today. Now, before we get into the uh, brush buster methods, I want to introduce you to somebody. 